Eli Lilly is going to continue to be an absolute juggernaut when it comes to the stock market. And honestly, it doesn't have a ton to do with terzepatide, Manjaro, and Zetbound. Sure, maybe terzepatide overtook Wigovi for the most prescribed obesity medicine this week, but that's not even why. Have you heard of Redahutride? Redahutride? Well, if you follow my channel, of course you've heard of that, but have you heard of what it can do for the liver? This week, the FDA actually announced that there is the first treatment approved for liver disease in the country. But let me tell you a little bit about Redahutride. Redahutride is similar to terzepatide in that it acts on the GLP-1 and the GIP, but it also acts on the glucagon receptors in the body. And the glucagon receptors being activated does something magical to melt liver fat. Liver fat leads to fibrosis and fibrosis leads to cirrhosis. And there's a solution. Oh, and this market is predicted to be about $45 billion by 2035. And nothing has been shown to melt liver fat like Redahutride. Ladies and gentlemen, Eli Lilly is here to stay. And they are here to play. And the bench is a whole lot deeper than terzepatide, which is Manjaro and Zetbound, which has also now been shown to reverse fibrosis, which up until now wasn't even known to be a thing. It was irreversible until terzepatide. And terzepatide doesn't even hold a candle to Retahutride. Retahutide.